hello everybody hope everybody's doing well and thank you thank you for watching um please excuse my mess back there um i was working on i was doing some shirts for my pastors it's pastors month and i was asked if i could do shirts for them and i was you know i was a little bit overwhelmed because i had to do the the shirts for them and i had to do my project for that collaboration and this project is a time consuming project for myself just because i knew from the beginning that i wanted to do an, a hot air balloon and i am keeping this project for myself but i'm going to share it with you so when i learned that i was going to do the shirts for them you know i was a little bit stressed and i felt overwhelmed and then something happened at work this week this past week and you know it just made things a little bit more stressful so when i get really stressed and overwhelmed i don't craft a lot like i do craft to de-stress myself but when i have a lot of projects to do like crafting projects that's when i get like overwhelmed and stressed and i shut down i i don't do anything for a couple of days and i'm just like stressing about it and then i come to a calming moment and i take a deep breath and i'm like okay i can do this just do one thing at a time so i was working i started working on my like i said my memory memory dex card holder and i had this um crate from the it's a wood crate from the dollar area target dollar area and it cost me three dollars it is made out of wood and as you can see, this is what I was going to use for my memory dex card holder. And I had worked on it already before, like last weekend. I had um, Mod Podge the paper. This paper is from um, Pebbles, Hey Hello, um, Jen Hatfield. So I had Mod Podge it with the, the sparkle one, the glitter one. So I had done that. And I did the other side and I did the inside and I just needed the ends but because I knew I wanted to do a hot air balloon I said this is not gonna look good with my memory um, with my hot air balloon the cards do fit you know they do fit a little bit um, it is a little bit bigger than the size of a card but it didn't matter to me like I was okay with it I was still going to use it and I said, nope, this is a rectangled shape and I don't like how the hot air balloon would look. I need more like a square. So after I calmed down from feeling overwhelmed and stressed, I decided to start from scratch. And I did this yesterday. All of it, I worked on it yesterday. So this is what my hot air balloon looks like. So that's what this looks like and i wanted it to be you know i wanted to make something nice for myself since i am keeping this project and i knew i wanted to make a hot air balloon but my idea from the beginning was to make the balloon part out of a balloon like a real balloon balloon and do like a paper mache thing kind of like when you do a pinata that same um method is what i was going to use but because i got overwhelmed and never did the you know the balloon stuff so i'm like okay how else can i do a hot air balloon without taking that long so that's when i remembered that i did a swap with maria maria crafty and i made a an embellishment binder for her and it had a small air balloon on the front and this is the the same method that i used for her um air balloon so i just did it but like in a bigger um, version of it and yep yeah, this is how it turned out i really like it i added some i added some foam flowers from aliexpress and these are some flowers that i made myself the paper flowers are flowers that i made myself I added two bows, one right there, and there's another one over here. I was going to do the bows that are on the front out of um, leftover paper 
from this one here but then I remembered that I did have a pink polka dot ribbon so that's what I ended up using for a different texture on my ribbon so and I also added a uh, ribbon all around I used um, skewers wood skewers like for a barbecue and I just wrapped it with pink and yellow ribbon and I added some of this um, leaf um, trim from Hobby Lobby. I added it on top of the yellow and pink ribbon. And then I added some butterflies. I made these butterfly embellishments. I had these already pre-made. So that's what I did. I added a couple of them as you can see. And then I just put some um, ribbon hanging down in the middle and then the cards are loose in here i don't have that many um i don't have that many memory decks cards i did not put the sticks in here in case i ever want to use this differently than than a memory decks card holder but they do fit in here so what i did for the box for the bottom part i did make this out of um cardboard paper i had an old box from michael's that i had ordered something online so you know i still had that box from them so i measured how big i wanted the box to be and i glued it with um hot glue and i just glued the paper all around from hey hello or hey hello from jen hatfield and that's what i did i used the project pad from um joann's that i had bought and these are the papers the solid papers are the ones that come in the project pad and that's what i used but that was the collection that i used the paper pad collection i did add the bows on all four corners and then i doubled the bows i made um it has this other ribbon it has this type of ribbon and then the polka dot and then i just added a blue gem so the blue can pop out there's a little bit of blue not that much and i wanted that blue to pop out so that's what i used i added some trim that has flowers all around and this pom-pom trim from aliexpress all around as well and then i added this um like um pearl bead um trim all around as well on the bottom and on top and yeah that's how it turned out and i'm really happy it was a little bit overwhelming like i said i worked on this yesterday for a couple of hours and then this morning i had to do the shirts because i was supposed to do them yesterday but because i was working on this project i did the shirts this morning before going to service and i was stressed i felt overwhelmed but thankfully you know i was able to make the shirt and i was able to do my memory decks card holder so yeah i'm really happy so since i am keeping this um hot air balloon for myself i do um the price will be in a six by eight um hey hello paper the paper pad and some stickers and the ephemera and i might include a couple of extra things in there as well but yeah this is what it looks like so if you would like to be entered into the giveaway for this week um use the word i know it's going to be very simple to say something about the hot air balloon so i'm going to go with butterflies please use the word butterflies in the comment below if you would like to be entered to um, win the six by eight paper pad ephemera and stickers and I might include you know um, some extra stickers because I have two different types of stickers for this collection so yeah this is how it turned out and I'm really happy um, you know I'm happy that I'm keeping this for myself because I hardly make anything for myself so yeah I'm super super excited so yeah um, Thank you for watching and good luck to everybody. It's this collaboration is almost coming to an end and I'm so excited and sad at the same time that it's gonna be over because I really enjoyed, um, you know, working on a project each week 
even though this one was a little bit <laughs> challenging for me and a little bit overwhelmed and i had you know i just wanted my hot air balloon and i was gonna work on i was going to work on this one because i'm like i'm not gonna have time to do my hot air balloon so i'm just gonna cover the ends and you know decorate it with some ephemera and be done but i'm the type of person that i'm like i wanted a hot air balloon and I think I could have made something and if I don't do it, it's like it bothers me a lot. So yeah, that's why yesterday I spent a lot of the afternoon working on the hot air balloon, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Next week will be the last week and then we get to pick out winners on November, the first Sunday uh, in November. So yeah, super excited for that. So thank you for watching and till next Sunday for the next altered project. Till next time. Bye.